going to the women's side, and we talked about it last week. So to everybody that that they joined the chat and shared which way they thought it would go. Uh, USC got got one. They finally got redemption yeah. on the women's side. Uh, yeah. The upset uh, UCLA uh, in, in our battle for LA round round two, seventy three sixty five. As you saw, it was a good game. I watched most of it uh, even on Sunday where there was all the football stuff going on. I made sure we talked about before. Want to stay tuned to this game? This was going to be a big matchup, and it was. I really enjoyed it. Great energy uh, from USC as they had the building rocking. Stars in the building, Candace Parker and uh, Cheryl Miller and all kinds of folks were all, all around it. Uh, CB yeah. and Chris Brown and stuff like that. It was a great atmosphere. Fans were rocking, and the, the team definitely carried over that same energy on the court. Juju Watkins truly a special and playing a great performance, and the yeah. whole squad really got going, too. I uh, will also, on the flip side, say I was impressed by UCLA because uh, you see it was an eight-point win. There are a few times where USC got up 12. They got 14 even at one point. Mm -hmm. They really started pushing it. And there are a couple of opportunities where, where a team, when you start breaking away, can really separate. UCLA went fully let it let, let, let it loose. They kept it mm -hmm. close and got it down to six at one point uh, and kept fighting back uh, for yeah. able to get over the hump. Uh, but, yeah, it definitely was, was a good game and just wanted to give praise to them as they continue to battle. Uh, you think we get round three at some point? I think that was just the last two of official mm -hmm. matchups right now. Are we mm -hmm. going to see them play again this season? I guess that would only happen in a uh, Pac-12 tournament, uh, uh, most likely, uh, and, uh, unless they were to meet in the, in the tourney. Correct. Um, you think it happens some way? It, it's very well possible just with them still being both top six teams. Uh, mm -hmm. It's possible that they could meet, and uh, that would be that would be great to see. Uh, it should be – I was going to say, unfortunate that game once again was, I think, on Pac-12, like not on – a major right. network. Obviously, the NFL playoffs, that's a rough weekend to go up against. So I understand it, it this time, but they really like these women, young women do need more shine. Uh, because uh especially uh you got a superstar level talent on, on USC uh with, with Juju Watkins, like who definitely deserves to be on a primetime stage, like a uh Kaylin Clark. Um, there's, there's a nice way of saying we want to pitch for them and all of that. Watch them the game for real. They hoop. Like, is it, yeah. you need all the whole, give the pitch and all of that. Just straight up. They hoop for real. Absolutely. It. Although they're on both squads, they're they really getting after it. And it was a great game. So, if you're a fan of good basketball, they definitely delivered that. And, and, and you should be tuned in uh, next time. Not or even beyond, it. even right now, UCLA is playing Colorado right now. Tune mm -hmm. into that game if you're if you're watching live on the stream. You check over to that. We, I, I won't be mad at it. Uh, as well as USC has a good game tonight uh, later on too. So mm -hmm. uh, they play a good, great, a good game of basketball. If you're a fan of the sport, definitely deliver. So check yeah. them out as they're doing their thing. Yeah, yeah. They, they gotta you gotta highlight your best teams in the country, and, and you gotta Please. highlight you gotta highlight the young superstar talents. Uh, so people have more of a reason to want to exactly juju is must watch tv like absolutely people know that they gotta tune in like they do for caitlin clark like she gets pushed uh, like mm -hmm. iowa is not typically a team that we're gonna be tuned into but everyone knows how good caitlin clark is so yeah um as you said ucla and colorado are playing it's three point game four minutes left uh on pac-12 network once again and colorado's the number three team in the nation too so mm. pac 12 has got some competition there uh, and yeah. it should be a fun uh, rest of the season uh, as, as they go into their uh, tournament time. Uh, absolutely. I'll definitely be locked into them. Excited to see how things play out uh, to the point about seeing a round three in the Pac-12 training. It might be difficult because we see a team like Colorado, who's highly ranked themselves. I think they're ranked third at the moment, yeah, are playing and they're putting up a good battle. Uh, so they might disrupt our, our, the matchup, the reunion that we want to see. Uh, but either way, uh, watching them, they have a great squad to deserve your, eye, your eyes too. So uh, mm -hmm. they're all playing well. And we end up seeing Colorado instead versus the winning squad. I'll be doing either way, but we'd love to see our two LA squads match up. I'm excited to see what, what's next for them. Uh, any further comment on the women's side? You can check in out y'all or just any thoughts about what's going on uh, around. Say, uh, Juju was a little bit of a free throw merchant in that game. I just, I just, chill, chill, I'm chill. Just saying, hey, I'm just saying. Don't, don't bring that NBA I'm, I'm just saying. Uh, leave I'm it alone. Saying. Stay out. But uh, salute to USC and getting the, getting the W in that one. Uh, it was another great game uh, between those two teams. Uh, definitely. Uh, as, as you see, Juju is a freshman right now. So you continue to be on USC. I believe the rule is you got to be, I forgot exactly the rule is, but I think she has two more years there probably seeing. Uh, she's going she's gonna to be there uh, for a little so. while longer. I uh, so. Uh, with, uh, I'm blanking on what the official rules are. My, my apologies on that regard. But mm -hmm. uh, we also see that uh, regardless, there are other, other folks, Kevin Clark and others, who have opportunities to go to WNBA early. And sometimes they are have so far uh, mm -hmm. in, in recent years decided to stay for that, that final year at their schools and maximize what, what's going on at their college. Um, how can the WNBA make itself more appealing uh, for uh, future uh, WNBA, for future stars that are going into the league? 
That's, that's you, you know, you know oh, the yeah. answer. <laughs> yeah, like it's it's got to be about the dollars, man. Because like, obviously, like Caitlin Clark can make more money right now with the NIL uh, and in college in, in Iowa as the the big fish in a small pond there. Um, so it makes sense for her to stay there, especially with them not having won yet. Like I'm sure she wants to finish the job and and, and get a title there for Iowa, but. Uh, if, if the dollars don't make sense, if you don't make money, it don't make sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they're going to have to have uh, a better uh, pay structure uh, for, especially for the top talent uh, in the league. And like we've seen in recent years, like women, young women drafted as high as four have been cut from the team after being drafted. So it's like, there's not even a guarantee uh, for, right. for some of these uh, highly drafted prospects that they're going to have uh, a WNBA contract. So, um, a, a couple things there, but namely the money for sure is going to have to be better. Got it. So yeah, hope, hope w, 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 the WNBA, excuse me, can do that and make themselves more appealing because we'd love to see Juju and others, Caitlin, as we mentioned, on, on her way uh, in the leading the league and continuing to have the presence they have now as folks are fully aware of them in college, but they can keep that same publicity when they go to the league as well and, and do their thing there. So uh, we'll be tapping into that. Uh, yeah, Ryan Peters on online said, Let, "Let's go, Juju." Yeah, definitely, we'll be, we'll be checking him, uh, checking out what's going on with them next, and looking forward to what the teams be on the way uh, with them. So that's all the official stuff, LA wise. I wanted to get to. We appreciate y'all for tuning into that part. You can watch uh, episodes as they re aired on LA Push Report on all platforms on YouTube. Where we'll have clips uh, broken up, broken apart for them, and definitely check that out. Uh, what is Matt saying in the comments here? Taking a shot like two percent on shots to tie or win at the end of the game this season. Shake my head. Celtics talk. We don't care about that right now. Uh, <laughs> but again, uh, for LA folks, do you tap in, in, into what's oh, going Nuggets won by two. That's why, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, tough, 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 but. Uh, yeah, again, just appreciate all the folks tapping into all the LA things, continue to flood things on online on all platforms, six the hundreds, the place to tune into. And you can find our episodes on LA Sports Report on YouTube uh, for those that want to go back and watch some of these things chopped up. So uh, good stuff on that front.